there. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, EC's workshop. How y'all today? I hope y'all everybody's doing just fine and good. Today, I'm working on a something for my boat. Now, it's gonna. It's a camera stand. What it's gonna be? Be be, be it's a camera stand. You see them all the time. They sell them. They got power source and everything else. And uh, they have their own little power source. You know, you plug in your your cameras and all this stuff. Man, you see, you check prices on them. Things are high. I was thinking about something. I usually wind up going by myself all the time. Brim fishing, crappie fishing, bass fishing, cat fishing. So I decided I'm going to come up with this idea of what I'm going to do. And I'll show you here in a minute. Let's move over here to this table. Okay, what I got here is a piece of aluminum, piece of one inch aluminum. What I'm going to do, add a PVC pipe, three quarter inch schedule 40 pipe, and uh, to strengthen it up, I'm running a half inch down inside of it. And I made this part already. Here, I'm going to glue to the end and screw it on, on the end up here. I'm going to glue it on there. And I have that, then I have this shaft turned and, and sweated in here. I'm going to heat this up. And I'm going to shove this piece of metal up in there. And I'm going to turn this down. To, uh, so I'm going to turn this down. Kind of close, to about 10,000 sweat in there. This is what I'm doing right here with this. Okay. I'm going to turn this down to 840. On this end. That'll give me a sweat where I have to heat the pipe up and push it on. This is one inch piece. Here. And uh, I'm going to do four inches. What it's going to do is it's going to stand up in the uh, boat pedestal. Back boat pedestal. Back there it's going to stand up in it. I'm going to turn this down to 750, 4 inches long. I have me a quarter inch ring here because I'm going to have 3 and a quarter here. This is still <coughs> the original size here. <coughs> then this will be sweated in there. That's what that's my idea is what I'm going to do. Alright, then we're going to set this here. Plus, you know, I know some people, I may just wind up painting this black. So, you know, or something. But, I got me a pool noodle. I'm going to slide over it in case it falls in the water. Messes up. And I got me a box here I made. I got a YouTube video of it somewhere. I just got to get it posted. Yeah, I'm late on posting anything. Try to do it all when it rains. It's got me a battery in there. This is going to be a, the power source. For my cameras. So I can put two on there. I can plug in two, turn it on there. Got my power source, 12 volt power source. Turn it off. There you go. You know, that's what that's what I'm gonna do. That's my power source. I'll set this at the bottom and I'll you know attach it to the pole. The pole will be standing up. All this big lid on, then I have my camera on top of it. And then I have my pool noodle in case it falls in the water. I hope it'll keep it afloat. You know what? I'm going to try it out before I put it in the boat. I'm taking my daughter's swimming pool and throw it in there. Make sure this will stay floating. It'll probably mess up my camera on there because I won't put the rain guard on. I don't like that. Yeah, I like for it to pick up when I talk. So this is my power source and stuff. Plus, I can also attach other cameras to this. Once I get this set up, I can even have one camera clamped to this and sitting over here on the side. You know, I can have two cameras, one point behind me, one point toward me, one point downward here in the seat where I'm working on stuff. 
So I ain't put them anywhere. And I got this one up here on top, the one I'll be talking to the most. This will be the one I'll talk to the most. When I'm talking. So we're going to move over here to lay and get started. This is on zero. See where I'm at. Zero there. There you go. Center, 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 center. Gotta have center. Got me a center drill. Now we're going to center drill it. Let's move down here a little bit. Now we're going to center drill it a little bit. Turn the RPM down. Turn it on. Well, well look what it is. A little crooked. A little better. A little better. Let's see what happens. I should have done since it's so long. I can't face it off. Should have put the mill over and faced off both ends. Where I'd made sure they're square with each other. You know, that's what I should have done, but I didn't. Do I get a center in this? I just face it off a little ways and then turn it down.
give me a straight edge. Now give me a tool bit. Got to cut that way. Okay, now. Set this thing four inches, right? We're gonna do it first. We're gonna do the four inches first. And set this thing. Set my stop. All right, here we go. since I set this layup and redone this lay, I have not checked the taper on this thing. Mm, dang. Got about a ten thousandth taper. That's a of crap. I wish I had about an inch and a quarter aluminum, but I didn't have any. Fifty five. Sixty one. Six thousand type. I'm gonna fill all that in. Here's the lowest point, 55, 955. I got a hundred and two hundred to go. Fifty-five. 
сразу. Eight fifty four. Hundred thousand go. Okay, I got fifty six to go. All right, it's going. I'm just going to take fifty off again. Fifty six. I'm going to do eleven thousand more. Just what I wanted, right there. That about three, that that about three thousand thunder, cause them both pedestal things they sweat when they heat up, and the metal heats up, it swell up. I've had them stuck in there before. They take thing off. It fits too tight. Now we got to turn this thing around, this bad boy around, and do the other side. Let's move down here so you can see the head. I'm going to clean up some of these chips. They aggravate meat there. Alright, now let's turn this thing around. Got some of them chips out of the way. Okay. Do 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 do. Got to do all this over again. You know what? I could chuck on this surface, but there ain't going to be that much. Because i got to turn it all down to go up inside there. 
So what I'm going to do is chuck right up here. Back off a little bit. Like it's like it's centered. See how that is. Try something a different type of indicator. That's not going to work. Can you see it? Okay. Y'all see the zero there? Like I said, I'm going to have to buy me some mag bases. I'm, I'm using all my camera, all my mag bases I got. I got four, five, six, seven. Eight mag bases that I'm using for cameras. I got set up for use for cameras. I right, zero here. A little off there. A little too much. Go halfway. That's a zero. That's off. That's off. There's a thousand. It's off. Yeah, it ain't gonna turn nothing. It's just holding something. There you go. You got about one that's doing that's uh Like one or two that's good for a camera right now. Space here, put in space here, like it says, and then the rest of it will be. We gotta get a low pressure hose on this end. I'd like to have one down here. I need to build me something. Put it back over here to put everything on. I don't have to dig in the drawers to find something. Like my, you know, my drill and my center drill. In the little stand over there. That way I don't have to dig all the time. Every time I turn around, I'm digging. I think I will. Next week or something. I'll wind up making me something. I use a dog when they get dull, one end gets dull. I just cut it off so I won't use it again. I 
don't like leaving them out. That's the problem though. You leave them out and they're liable to get rusty. Leave them sitting out or something. I got a humifiers in here. But I don't know if that thing's going to run every day. And we're not going to mess up one day. I'm going to get rid of this one day. I'm going to get rid of my compound here. I'm going to get rid of my compound bill mill block just to sit right here with this on it. Because it interferes with you going inside here. You know, because it hits your tailstock. This part does. And uh, then if you get it cocked over here, I don't know, I might try cocking it. I'll try that first before I get rid of it. Right now it's locked down so far you couldn't do nothing with it. So tight. I ain't got much to take over here. Going down to 840. Let's see where I'm at. Let me go to zero. thousands taper.
it's going to make a difference, but still, I kind of like it close. Got it within two. Just gonna sweat it up inside the pipe. That's for sure. That's all I'm gonna do with it. <coughs> okay, here's something I made. A while back it was started, it was a boat seat pedestal I bought and I was going to do is I was designing it for, uh, I was going to bound it in there and stick a pole in for camera or a rod pole, you know, that way to set and swivel, my pole was set and swivel, well, so I don't know what I was doing, it was just something I came up with an idea many years ago. It was square and I turned it, cut it all off, turned it around. So, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to try and see if it fits. Fits perfect. Got a little snag to them. It's all the same size as all the rest of the poles. It'll sit there like that. My camera pole will stand there. And there you go. That'll work. And that's going to work right there. Alright, so we got to start putting this stuff together. So just hang with me. I'll move cameras around. I'll go down there and turn off some lights. Alright. Now, what i got to do, i to take this one out. Now, all that's doing in there is just stepping it up. i got to sweat this. So, I can slide that up in there. That's a loose fit. That's a tight fit. So, I'm going to heat this up with a heat gun. And I hope I don't mess it up. No, I sure don't. I hope I don't mess it up. Might need to turn the fan off. It's going to keep it cold. No. Put this up over here. And what I'm gonna do is uh, lay the gun down and let it blow on. There's a few things I need to get. I need to get a bigger air conditioner for one thing. For the shot. Okay. I'm a pencil. This, this ain't doing no good either. Huh? Turn the heat on. It'll take a few minutes. Got no glue. Got Loctite and no glue. Now well, that's a good idea. I might I go over and put a little notches on here and put some uh, red dot, red Loctite on it. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Be right back, fellas. 
Now just hang on. There you go, see I done scored it all up now. The Loctite to hang on to. Get it out here. Too close to turn brown. Not bad either. There you go. See? You gotta sweat it up in there. Mm. Let it cool off. Here, man. See what how it feels. I hope it sticks. Okay. Hope it kind of sticks. Well, I made a mess that we had blocked that. Buy me some more one day. No, I don't. I got a whole gallon of it back there. Mm. I was working this factory. I don't know if it does or not. Okay. But, uh, worked this factory and they, uh, you'd be surprised. They throw that stuff away. He said the reason is is because of uh, out of date. straight. Let's get it straight. I'd like for it to be straight. Think it's going to work? Or should I buy some glue and glued it in there? Hang on. Get one over here. <coughs> Let me 
sense of y'all being up that high. Get down here so y'all can see what's going on. Okay. Now we're finna glue it on to here. Glue this to here. Ooh, it's snotty. It's orange. I don't know if that's going to work. I wonder if this is going to work. May not be any good no more. I don't know why. They make stuff now to ruin every time you turn around. Hmm. Hey. Clean this up. A little bit. And get some paper towels. Well, you know what? I tell you what. Sometimes I think my brain just works half the time. You know what I mean? I'm glad that one glued on. Okay. Let's see. to cut off four inches of it. I'll be right back with you. I'm going to stick this in there for stiffness. I'll be right back. Y'all just hang on. I'm going to go right over here. I'm going to go right over at that saw and cut off four inches. One day I'm going to clean the shop up. Jump. Then the day I had to go get it. Bring it back. There, cut off four inches. Take this. Shove it down in there. There. I'll try to stiffen that up a little bit. I guess glue worked. It's hard. I can't get it off. I got some more glue somewhere. I don't know why I kept it in the shop. Or the temperature stays about 60 degrees. Now, so I take this, screw this onto here, like so. Okay. Shift my camera. The goodies over here. Wrong bag. My camera goodies. Get this one over here. See what I got over here. The camera goodies. <laughs> See what kind of camera goodies I got. Oh. 
Ah, see this? Alright, I'm put this and put this piece in here like so. Alright, now so I can put this camera on here like so. Okay. And spin this around and take that, tighten it up. Mm. There you go. See? And tilt it down. Look it down there. And tilt it down, look it down. And tilt it up. See this piece fits here? So I got these pieces here. I clamp to the pipe. I'm pretty sure I can. If I wanted to. I take out this rubber piece. So I get bigger pipe, grab bigger pipes. See there? I can put multiple cameras on here if I wanted to. So I got this piece. I can put that on there. Like that for a camera. And I got some other stuff. Not with this package here. But I got some other stuff that will go it's over there in the other bag. See, I got other cameras besides this one. You know, besides these kind. I got this one here. I'll show you. I got those there. Hey, I got this kind of camera too, which this is what I've had in a, in a while. I've used a lot. Okay? I've used these a lot. Just like this. Air Pro Ions. And so you put that in there. You can adjust this anywhere you want to. And like that. And I got that back there in the back by myself. And it's stout enough that I guess if I'm driving, it'll stand there. It'll stay in the hole. So, uh, like I was saying, so I got this can here. This is a different type of setup. It's not for iPro or whatever, Pro Cams or whatever stuff. But, uh, see, wait a minute. Let me see here. No, it's not, not about that bag. It's got to be another bag somewhere here. I know I brought them all with me. I thought I brought all the bags. Must not have. So I got. I got a vest. I got a vest, the holder. I got a. Uh,
shoulder. We got a head mount camera. We got a shoulder mount. I like this the best. It sits right here on your shoulder and it works. Uh, there's other stuff I got that I can't find right now. But it will. Must be in the house. It's a holder for these that you clip on and they set they mount in the here and they set on there so you can have it how you can put it here and have it sitting like this if you wanted to or you can point this one down or whatever this camera's here I'm gonna, I'm gonna make one for this one so they all sit here and now they won't have a crooked picture right now now I'm gonna cut this noodle and put it on there about halfway up. Now I don't want the noodle all the way up here because I may want to mount some cameras up here. So I'm going to put it right about here. So I'm going to cut this noodle and slide it on to about right there. What I'm hoping is that if this falls in the water it floats. That's what I'm hoping it will do. Like I said, I'm going to take my daughter and try it out. Throw it in her pool. See how it floats. Might sink like a rock with that big old aluminum piece on the end. What's we not be able to get it on? I know I could cut it in half and put it on. But I don't want to do that. Hard work. This is hard work. Nice. If it won't float, I'll cut it off.
try it out. There you go. See, these cameras are waterproof. As long as you got this back piece on here, as long as you got it put on, they're waterproof. Problem is, this is the, you don't, they don't make this camera no more. These things will work two and a half hours on one charge. You put that uh, micro chip in there, you know, card. You can record eight hours. Plus, this is a Wi-Fi. Also, this Wi-Fi is it. When you turn it on, it'll link to your cat to your. Uh, it'll link to your uh, to your phone. See blue light. It'll link to your phone, you Bluetooth to your phone, and you can look at your phone and see what the camera's looking at. I love these, but like it says, they don't make them no more. So. I use them until they quit. See, there you go. There it is, I slide in the pedestal. I pop down in the pedestal, like so. I'll take my box, put it right here, hook it up to it, take a little string or something, tie it to it, plug my, my wire into it. I gotta give them some more wire, well, I do need wire, some more wires. I got wires to run off of. I run my phone, my phone, plus I got wire to reach up here and run the camera if I have to. I'm thinking of changing this. Kind of don't, kind of don't like it. I think I'm going to go down this way. I think I'm going to go down this way here with it. Well, that's the room I got. Let's go down this way with a, uh, a switch to turn the power source off, a cigarette lighter, and then this one. That's what I think I'm on. Well, and I may put an a indicator in it to tell me the voltage of my battery is going down or coming up. That's basically what I need. It's got a switch here. See, a lot of times when you turn this off and you shut this, you'll hit that button that side, and sometimes it'll come back on. That's the only thing I hate about it. Alright. We are going to clean up, sign off. I got it done. We'll clean up, sign off, and uh, Get out of here and go eat supper. Getting late. Y'all have a good day. And if you like anything I do, click the like button. Please watch all my videos. Click the like button, I uh, wish. That way that you two know I get a few people to come look at my stuff. Hit the like button. And if you like my stuff and you're interested in what I do, I don't do much or nothing. I just kind of filter around a working machine work and meal work. And I got something else I'm working on too back there, but I don't know if I'm gonna film that. It's, I'm making a pole. I'm gonna weld it onto a uh, ring, tire rim, and pole on it and mount my plug into it so I can roll it over here to my boat, plug up my boat, my battery charger and stuff. And then when I get ready to leave, I can just unplug my battery charger and I can just roll it over out of the way. You know, tilt it on the side and swing it over out of the way. So that's one of the type projects I'm working on. I'll probably film that in two. So right now, thank you. I'll catch you later. See you on the flip side. Please subscribe. If you don't like it, just hit the like button anyway. Go either way you like it. Like it or don't like it.
Don't just watch the video and leave. Thank you for watching. And uh, come back and see us sometimes at EC's Workshop. See, there's the name. EC's Workshop. Y'all take it easy. Be good.